Yep, I'm on there, Crupper. Hey, Coach Robo, nice uh, win for your team. Did Green Bay do anything to surprise you and your team? Uh, I thought you handled them pretty well, but how did you see it? Yeah, it was. Uh, it, I thought it was two very similar styles uh, coming coming head to head, and you know you really saw a tale of two games. Uh, the first first period, we controlled the pace. We got them stretched out a bunch through the neutral zone. We got our wingers extended uh, out past their, them and really controlled the breakout. And the second period was the opposite. They they did they did exactly what we did to them in the first. They uh, they extended us and uh, really controlled the the four check game. And in the third, I thought we played a really composed period. Um, you know, it seemed like they might have exhausted uh, a bit of energy there in the in the second and gave us a real hard push and Spencer Knight was outstanding there. Yeah, talk about Knight a little bit because your team scored four goals, but I thought Knight really held you in, especially in the second period. Yeah, it's a, it was a team effort uh, and he was a big part of that effort. Um, you know, his athleticism, but also I thought his calm nature back there really, really showing through tonight. Um, not a ton of elite saves, but a ton of really strong saves. Like they, they, they pounded his crease a few times and he's just such a strong kid that he, he, uh, he made, he made some, some very, uh, could have been very damaging plays. He made them look harmless. So, he would, you know, just a lot of credit to him and, and sticking with his game. Cole Caulfield has advertised <laughs> a goal score. A hey, pretty couple of nice snipes there to close it out. Yeah, it's it's fun to watch him uh, daily basis in practice. There's, you know, whenever we're doing a small game or a situation where uh, it comes down to last goal, his, his teammates are yelling, get the puck to Cole. And uh, a lot of times it ends up in the back of the net. And, his hands, it's, it's an elite package uh, in regard to snap, control, uh, effortless uh, handle uh, with, with the young man, and he's got a knack for the back of the net. Do you expect anything different tomorrow? Uh, we know Green Bay's a, a big team that likes to pound it in deep. Uh, are you expecting anything different tomorrow? Well, it's a, it's a veteran team, and uh, you know, they're, they're not going to be happy with, with coming out of the weekend one and two. You know, they won yesterday in Youngstown, but... Um, they're they're going to be determined to, to to not let a group of 16 year olds uh, control a weekend. They're going to they're going to come up with a lot of pride and uh, they're very well coached and and uh, they're they're going to have they're going to have jump and jam and we've got to be ready to ready to ready to control that game from the get go. It's um, I'm I'm proud of the way the guys played. I thought that we we persevered through some tough times in the second and uh, really responded with a great great team effort. John Robleski will let you go and uh, thanks for the uh, opportunity to talk to you. Hope to do it again uh, more this year. You bet, Cropper. Good speaking. John Robleski with some nice words about his team. And the U-17s go to 7-0 overall, 3-0 in the USHL with a, uh, a very nice, gritty 4-1 victory over the Green Bay.